Hey up guys, welcome to our City Cop. Just want to do a little video on about the comments that Emre Chan did in an interview with Sports Build in his native um, country, Germany. Um, obviously he's out with, in Germany at the moment with the international squad, which um, it was a surprise, obviously, because he got uh, substituted early on against the Watford game um, with a bad back. Um, since joining up with the German team in the first training session, he withdrawed after about 15 to 20 minutes with the same issue in his back. So he still might not play in this uh, international break, but he's still out there with the German team. But going back to the interview, obviously, if you don't know, if you don't know social media is outraged and Liverpool fans are outraged at the comments that he said in this interview with Sports Bill. The biggest comment that people are frustrated with are I have the self-confidence to say that my qualities are sufficient to play in a very big club next season. If he's trying to say that Liverpool aren't a big club then let me just give you a little um, update on the history of Liverpool. L Liverpool have, bear with me a second, 18 League titles, 7 FA Cups, 8 League Cups, 5 European Cups, 3 UEFA Cups, 3 UEFA Super Cups and 15 Community Slash Charity Shields. To say that we're not a big club is just, it's outrageous mate. If I, I hope that this has been interpreted wrongly and that you, you still think Liverpool are a big club and that you're not just wanting to leave Liverpool because you don't think Liverpool are a big club. Because that is just, that is so offensive and insulting to the fans and to Liverpool, who are definitely renowned as one of the biggest clubs in the world, and for you, at 24 years of bloody age, to come out and say a comment like that is disgusting. And I hope it's wrong. Um, he does, I will give him a bit of benefit of the doubt, he does go on in the interview and say he does love the English league, um, he does like the fact that he's a key part at Liverpool Football Club and he do, does think that Liverpool have the potential to win the Premier League. But, you know, he's he goes on to then say, you know, the Germans are fantastic league, the uh, French league, the Spanish league, the Italian league, they're all brilliant leagues. It, it seems like he's trying to push himself out there to the big clubs of them leagues to say, look, I have the quality to play in any big world football club, which isn't good news to hear. Obviously, the fact that he still hasn't signed a new contract with Liverpool and his contract ends at the end of the season... It's looking likely he's going to go, guys. I believe that he will leave. Um, obviously, the biggest club that he was linked with last summer was Juventus. Apparently, they have a keen interest in taking him on. Um, for me, if he goes to Juventus, then yeah, fair enough. That's that's what he, he believes in himself, where he needs to go. But I don't think Juventus are a bigger club than Liverpool. I don't think Juventus have a, a bigger prospect and a bigger um, plan in, in, in place to secure top top level players as well as trophies champions leagues I, you know yeah Juventus, uh, Juventus might win the, the Serie A you know but there ain't that many teams who are brilliant in um, the Italian league compared to the Premier League you know I just I think if you're going to leave to Juventus I think he's leaving for a worse club yeah in the last couple of years they may have had a little bit of success reaching semi-finals and finals of the Champions League but they haven't won them yeah, they might win the Serie A, but they haven't won the Champions Leagues, have they? You know, I think it would be a big mistake, personally, if Emery Chan leaves. Um, it, we've shown this season, with the players we've got, he's, he, he played 37 games this year. So it's not a game time thing, clearly. Obviously, we've still got, we've got uh, Naby Keita coming in the summer. Um, maybe that might play in a part for the reason why he wants to leave. But for me, Henderson can't play... 50 odd games a season. To say we've got Champions League next year, FA Cups, League Cups and that, we play about 50 to 60 games. He, Henderson can't do that, unfortunately. You know, his body won't do it. He's got a problem with his heel. So Emery Chan is definitely going to get game time. I personally don't see Naby Keita being a number six. So I see that role going to him. But the fact that now um, it's coming out in um, the news that Liverpool report to be interested in uh, Ndidi from Le Leicester, <clears throat> it leads me to believe that I, I, I think Emery Chan will leave. But if, these, uh, if this comment was to come out to say that he doesn't think Liverpool are a big club in the world, then I think that's poor taste in Emre Chan. Um, you know, it's hard. You know, when he's doing these interviews and stuff, they're all just being interpreted and and all this malarkey. So things can get crossed, but, you know, it doesn't look great and it just seems quite insulting to Liverpool fans. May, he may come out and say, look, that's not what you meant by it or whatnot. We'll just have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. What do you think on this comment from Emre Chan um, stating that he thinks he can play um, for a, one of the world's best teams um, next summer? Um, 
let me know what you think guys because I'm, I'm not too uh, happy with that to be honest with you I'm hoping like I said it wasn't meant how it seems like it's come out um, maybe he's just trying to say look you know I've got the confidence to play for any team in the world I believe in my ability to be one of the best players in the world which you know any athlete any you know sports person would have has to have that mentality that they're the best because it's all about winning if you don't have the mentality that you're the best what's the point of being there are you with me? Um, so, you know, I, I get that side of it, but I just think it's poor taste with how the comment has come out. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think to Emre Chan. Do you think Ndidi would be a good replacement for him? Are you still, are you that bothered if Emre Chan leaves? Are you bothered that Emre Chan is going to leave? Let me know everything in the comments, guys. I will read them all. I will comment to them all. Um, but, yeah, that's all I've got to say on the Emre Chan situation. I think it's poor taste if that is how it comes out. So yeah, let me know in the comments guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up guys, also make sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, make sure to come and join this community that we're building over here, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Also, links in the description for the article as well as all the social media platforms that you can follow me on, go and hit me up on them and send me a message and let me know that you come and join me, and yeah, you can have like more one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, rather than me talking to you and then reading the comments, you'll get a more direct response. Um, but yeah, like normal guys, I'll see you in the next video, take care.